for the entrance hymn let us all rise and take the hymn a73 enter his gates His gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. Enter His courts with praise. Enter His gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. For He has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts, for he has made me glad. My dear brothers and sisters, let us offer this Mass for the eternal repose of Cassiana Fernandez for the eternal repose of Jesse Ferrao, the husband of one of our prayer group members, Effie Ferrao. She's also celebrating today her wedding anniversary. Let us pray that God may bless them with heaven, Cassiana and Jesse, and may also bless Effie as she celebrates her wedding anniversary today. Let us also pray for confirmation students from Kolwale Parish and from National Parish. They are here along with their catechists for the one day retreat. Let us pray that they may have the divine experience. Our brother Krayran Kardos has spent four months in this center rendering his service to the center and all those who have come here for the retreats. We thank and praise God for the gift of his life and for sending him to this center. He is under formation for priesthood. May the Holy Spirit guide him to pursue in this formation and become a holy priest unto the heart of Jesus. Let us especially thank the Lord for his gift and also pray for him. And as you know, tomorrow we have one day retreat and also retreat for the families. Let us also keep this intention in mind. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with your spirit. spirit. Dear friends, the life of a priest, a sister, and a seminarian is always on the move. The moment one feels that he or she has settled in a particular place, one is unsettled to be placed elsewhere. Wherever we are placed, we are working in the vineyard of the Lord. The Lord chooses, forms us, and sends us to be his heralds in the world. Today, we have gathered here to thank God for the gift of Brother Karen Cardozo to this community. The Lord sent him to serve and exercise his ministry here at this renewal center as part of his ongoing formation, and we thank God for this. Using his God-given talents, his humorous and helpful nature, he brought joy and happiness to us all and has won a lot of hearts for the Lord as we thank the Lord for calling him to walk this path towards priesthood, we pray for his future ministry in this Eucharistic celebration.
And today's liturgy invites us to focus on the forgiving, the merciful love of God and to repent and come back to the Father's embrace. There were times when we were comfort comfortable in our sinful ways of life. Let us acknowledge all our sins by commission and omission and ask the Lord to forgive us, to bless us with his mercy and give us his grace to repent and to convert. All together, I confess, confess Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and what, what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray, bring to mind your intention. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brethren, we are the circumcision who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh, though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also. If anyone else thinks he has a reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. But whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Repeat, let, let the, the hearts heart that, that seek the, the Lord, Lord rejoice. rejoice. Oh, sing to him, sing his praise. Tell all his wonderful works, glory in his holy name. 
Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Response. Let the, Let the hearts that, that seek, seek the Lord, Lord rejoice. rejoice. Turn to the Lord and his strength. Constantly seek his face. Remember the wonders he has done, his marvels and his words of judgment. Response. Let the, Let the hearts that, that seek, seek the Lord rejoice. rejoice. O children of Abraham, his servant, O descendants of Jacob he chose. He, the Lord, is our God. His judgments are in all the earth. Response. Let the, Let the heart hearts that seek, seek the, the Lord, Lord rejoice. rejoice. Let us all rise for the gospel. And I will give you rest, says the Lord. Oh. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, the tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to hear Jesus. And the Pharisees and the scribes grumbled, saying, This man receives sinners and eats with them. So he told them this parable. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he has lost one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and his neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Just so, I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous persons who need no repentance. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one coin, does not light a lamp and sweep the house and seek diligently until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I had lost. Just so, I tell you, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear friends, the Gospel of Luke is called the gospel of mercy and today Luke presents God's image as a merciful God merciful God who is in continuous search of the lost ones two parables we are given the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost coin lost sought and found these are the three important words that we find in the parables. Time and again we see with our freedom, we choose to go away from the Lord. The one sheep that is lost, 
and the coin that is lost represents us sinners. Why did the sheep get lost? The sheep got lost because of herself, itself, because of his problem. The sheep went away not because of the bad shepherd. We as uh, humans, we also have been blessed with freedom. We decide many times to go away on our own, not following in the footsteps of the Lord. Maybe because of our vain glory and pride, avarice, lust, anger, gluttony, envy, sloth, these are the deadly sins which uh, take us away from the love of God. The coin that is lost is lost because of the carelessness of the lady. Maybe we have been lost in life because of our own carelessness. There were some things which we used to treasure, the divine things which we used to possess once upon a time. Maybe we have lost them because of our carelessness. Or maybe we are lost because of somebody else's carelessness. Parents may have lost their own sons and daughters. They have gone away from the Lord because of their irresponsibility. <coughs> Whatever the reason is, the fact is that we lo get lost sometimes. But God is a merciful God. He comes in search. For him, every person is important. Every person is special for God. Ninety-nine sheep, which are good, who, need, uh, who do not need at that particular time the accompaniment of the Lord, he leaves them in the, shepherd, uh, in the shed and he goes in search of the lost one. Takes the, uh, the sheep's uh, name and calls out. And this search is urgent, not tomorrow. The very same day, the shepherd goes back in search. The lady also does not postpone the search. There and then once she discovers that the coin is lost, the searching is very urgent. God does not want us to leave in his absence. Because the devil is prowling like a roaring lion to devour. God has paid a heavy price for us to find us. His very own son, Jesus, has died for us on the cross. He has paid a ransom. We are won by his blood. Jesus has died for us, sinners. God has passionately loved us. So, we must not take it so lightly. Okay, chalta hai. One sin, it's okay. For the every sin that we commit, God has paid a price. And therefore, we need to come back to him. We need to be found. When the shepherd goes in search of the lost sheep, the sheep also has to make sound. sound, sound. The sheep may be entangled in the Creepers, wild creepers, maybe have fallen into a, a ditch, a pit. When the shepherd comes and calls, the sheep has to make a sound. That is the effort also by the sheep. Sheep must show to the shepherd that I am helpless. Please rescue me from this dungeon of sin. I want to come back to you, my good shepherd. And when that happens, the shepherd rejoices. When he finds the lost sheep, he rejoices. Same thing with the lady we have seen. When the coin is found, she is so happy that the joy cannot be contained. She goes and shares that joy with others. And what does she do to find that lost coin? She lights a lamp. It is dark, difficult to find, but she has not lost hope. 
she lights a lamp. The darkness that we go through in our life because of our sin, God does not lose, lose hope in us. And we must also not lose hope. Every day is an opportunity to come back to the Lord. And the light, the lamp that was lit by that lady signifies in our context the presence of Jesus. Jesus is our light. His word is our light. And with his help, we can search what is lost in our life. And the joy will be so great over one repentant sinner. We are told today in Luke 15 verse 7, there is great rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner. Let that be joy today in heaven because of me. Let us decide to come back to the Lord, Lord who is in continuous search for the lost ones. He is in search of me. I need him. He is my good shepherd. He is my merciful God. Let us humble ourselves before him, acknowledge how much he loves me, and ask the Lord for his pardon, for his mercy, and come back to him. Remain in his grace. Walk in his footsteps. May the Lord help us in this Eucharistic celebration. Let us put forth before the Lord some of our petitions. We pray for our Pope, bishops, priests, religious, and in a special way for all the seminarians, that they may grow in their vocation to priesthood and find joy in walking the path that Jesus walked. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen to us. We pray for Brother Karen as he embarks on his next step in this year as a regent, that he may bloom where he is planted and glorify Jesus through his life. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen. We pray for his parents that they may enjoy good health in mind and body. In a very special way, we pray for his mother that the Lord may touch her with his healing touch. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Come and listen. We pray for his younger brothers who have also decided to embrace priesthood and are in formation, one in the Dominican and the other in the Capuchin order, that they may grow in this vocation and that they may be always faithful to their calling. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer. Abba Father, we have placed before you some of our prayers. Grant us what we have asked for, if it is your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the preparation of the gifts, we shall take the hymn B36, Abba Father. Be 
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for, for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of, the of the world. For by, for by your cross and, and resurrection, you, you have set, set us free. free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, <coughs> with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer by Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we receive our Lord into our hearts, let us sing the hymn, Come into this heart of stone, hymn number D52, page 123. Come, Jesus, come into this heart of stone. Come, Jesus, come into this heart of stone. Melt it and mold it and make it your. Into this heart of stone I'm not ashamed to tell you, Lord That I'm a sinner man I just love to do the things That go against your plan Come, Jesus, come into this heart of stone Come, Jesus, come Into this heart of stone Melt it and mold it And make it your own Come, Jesus, come into this heart of stone. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth to proclaim the good news of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. For the recessional hymn, we shall take XX11, I Now No Longer Live. <laughs> Love 